Hey there, my name is Dan Scott and this is one video from my larger Adobe XD course which you can check out on bringyourownlaptop.com. You can also go there to download the free exercise files and the free cheat sheet if you like. All right, enjoy the video. Hi there, welcome to this tutorial where we're gonna start prototyping and adding a bit of interaction. You can see these wires hanging around here. What happens is when I hit play, I can hit preview and then close it down and go back. So that's gonna add a little bit of interaction so that we can start moving around these artboards and start doing some testing while we're working. All right, let's get started. Okay, to start prototyping and connecting up our wireframes so we get some interaction, we need to have more than one page. We've got an artboard called homepage. You've got a couple of ways of making a new one. Uh, you can click on this and our trick that we've been using so far in this course, we hold down the Option key on a Mac or Alt key on a PC and then click the word homepage. Okay, you can just drag it across, you get a new one. Um, but I don't want all of these elements, so that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to undo. You can go to your layers panel and just click this guy, right click him and say duplicate and you'll have two of them. Okay, I want a new page. To do that, you can grab the artboard tool, okay, and just click once over here. And you could go and resize it if you like. Okay, if you need a different kind of document, okay, you can see down here there's the Apple ones, there's Google, there's Microsoft, Web, so you can click on any of these, say I need an iPhone, okay, and that'll add them to it. So that's easy, adding pages. Before we connect them up, we just need to add something to this page, so there's something to connect to. So we're gonna rename the artboard, and this one's going to be our preview option page. Okay, so when people click on this little icon here, Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. When they click on this, they get to decide on what kind of preview, whether they see the uh, student side or the teacher side. So first up, I'm gonna borrow some bits. I'm gonna grab you. And I'll grab you as well and that. Anything else I want? Uh, I'll grab a bit of text. I'll grab you. Copy them, click on this page, paste them. They come along for the ride. Okay, so that's kind of the bits that I want. I'm gonna resize this to be something like this in the middle-ish. I'm gonna use these two. I'm holding shift to grab them both. Okay, and looking at my kind of wireframe, my hand-drawn one, I've got two of these. I want this one to say, show me. Actually, I want them both to say show me. Cool, and it's this text here. I'll use our kind of 16 point for the slightly larger text. Okay, and in here I wanna say, I want your student sees. And so that guy goes there. I'll right align them so that when I duplicate them and go down here and say what you see as the instructor, I'm gonna be interested to see, like I'm just kind of using this language uh, to get started, okay? And it's gonna be the user testing that allows me to kind of work out whether that actually makes any sense. I feel like it might not. I'm pretty sure the user testing is gonna come back and go, we get confused here, but Okay, it's our first start. The other thing I want is a cross. I could use the X on my keyboard, but that generally doesn't look that nice. So I'm gonna go through in here and find a cross. There's one there. It's a handy little document, this guy, isn't it? So I'm gonna click on him, ungroup him. I want you, please. And I'm gonna paste him here. He's gonna go over here and he can stay blue. All right, so now we're gonna rig this thing up as a prototype. I've got two pages and I wanna be able to prototype it and connect it. Why do we doing it now when we're not kind of finished our wireframe? I find that's a really weird way of doing it. Like what I need to do while I'm developing this is I need to design it and be testing it on both a web and a phone as I am working rather than waiting to the end. Okay, so it's kind of a, you work between designing and prototyping quite a bit. So we're in design mode, okay, and you can see We've got our design options. If you've got a prototype, this is the way where we kind of add interactivity. What I'd like to do is, first of all, that's my home page. So I'm in clear that's kind of home base. That's, that'll be whatever the preview starts at. Okay, so I'm in prototype, and you'll notice that a lot of the options change. Okay, we're missing our little properties panel here. But what we can do is, what I want to do is, when this preview button is clicked, not the text, Okay, this text is by itself or the box. I'm actually gonna select them both. Watch this, if I click off in the background and then click on shift click both of these, I can group them. Okay, so I'm using the shortcut, but the long way is there, okay? 
And with them both selected, there's this little option that pokes out. That is how we connect Artboard. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna click, hold, and drag it. That means when that button's clicked, it's going to go to this page here. Now, you get some options, okay? By default, it is going to dissolve, okay? So there's gonna be like a fade going across, and there's a bit of an ease, which just makes it look nice, okay, in terms of the motion, and this is how long it takes. The cool thing about it is whoever did these in XD, they're all pretty sweet to start with, and I don't really need to change them. So, let's test this thing and figure out what we need to do next. So to test it, we use this little uh, play button up here. It says desktop preview. Because we're previewing a web page, it's best to preview actually on your um, laptop. If you were designing an app, you'd go straight to mobile to be testing, okay? And we'll talk about mobile testing a little bit later on when we start building the app version of this, but we're gonna hit play now. Cool, and yeah, this is uh, like a little window that opens up and it allows us to do our testing. All right, so now we're gonna test it. We can click on preview. And you see it did that little cross dissolve fade thing. You might not like that, you can change it and turn it off. Okay, and now I'm here. And now I can't click on anything. <laughs> okay, so we're kind of stuck. So I'm gonna close down the preview. And uh, in here, I need to do some other bits. So that works, okay, and you can see that's connected. Um, and another way to, of getting to there is the this thing here, where it says example. I'm gonna use that as my button to get across. But one of the problems is that that text is quite small. So it'd be really common here in XD to, if you've got a button here, I'm gonna make a fake little button. So I'm gonna go back to design and I'm just gonna make a bigger area for this to hit. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off the border, give it the same blue color so it looks the same as the background. Okay, and what I wanna do is make sure this, select the text, I'm gonna go bring to front. Okay, grab my rectangle and it's a little hard to see, I guess, but I've shift clicked them both and I'm gonna group them, okay? That means that just the clickable area is more instead of just this little text, which can be hard to click on, okay? I'm gonna make it nice and big, especially when we get down to mobile versions of prototypes. So back to prototype, uh, zoom out a little bit. I want this guy to go to the same one. Doesn't really matter where you click it in, it will jump to the right point. And do we wanna dissolve? We'll just test and show you like some of the other ones. Uh, we'll do slide right. You can decide which you wanna use. All right, what I also wanted to do is this little cross button. I want it to, when it's clicked, to go back to this page here. So well, I'm gonna have to do the same trick. So back to design, grab this tool, draw out something that's easier to hit, turn off the border. Okay, I'm gonna move, it's easier to move this to the front than it is the other one to the back because it'd go behind this box. So bring him to the front, find my box, and there you are. A Little bit hard, I'm using my arrow key just to tap it around. Okay, select them both holding shift to click both of them, group them, and now I can go to prototype. And what you might find is the dragging dropping is cool, so you can zoom out and then go and drag it here, and that works fine, okay? But sometimes it's easier actually, or I wanna undo that. Like undo's not working, okay? The normal typical undo when you're in prototype mode. What you can do is say you wanna break that, just click and drag it to no man's land, and that will kind of like disconnect it. So I find often when I'm in this close, I don't want to have to zoom out to try and find the artboard. Is you just click on this and say, actually, I want it to go to, uh, in this case, previous artboard would work or home page. Okay, I'm going to get it, go back to the home page, and you'll see it jumps out like that already. Perfect. Okay, either way you want to do it, and so let's go and preview this now. So let's go play. Okay, and and hopefully now we can click on this, cross it out. Okay, we've got a little slide left, which is weird. Example. Yeah, I don't like that sliding. It works, but I get confused, okay? And there's a special time and a place, mainly through phones, where the slide works, not through websites, because no websites do that slide thing. So it's just weird. And um, so I'm gonna go turn it off. The other thing is, is that this is a separate window, right? Now, I'm working on my laptop at the moment for this training course, but what I do when I'm working normally is that I've got a big kind of 4K monitor that I work from, and I have my laptop on the side of it, okay? So like working from two monitors. So what I normally do is I've got two monitors, right? I've got this laptop, okay? And I've got a big monitor that I work from mainly. So I'll have them both open next to each other and I'll have this panel on one of them, normally my laptop, and I will be working on this part in my main big monitor. So the cool thing about it, it's a live update. So as you move stuff in here, um, watch this, can you see? As I'm moving it, this thing updates. So I have this open 100% of the time. Okay, so I could be making adjustments, seeing what it looks like at 100% and be playing around with the interactions through prototype. So I don't have to keep hitting that play button. 
Okay, anyway, I have to close it down and open it back up at the moment because I'm just working on the laptop. And what I'd like to do is example here. Uh, I don't like the uh, slide right. I'm just gonna go to dissolve. Probably just needs a jump, but dissolve looks nice. Okay, I'm clicking this little dot here. You can click on either side and I'm gonna go to dissolve as well. Awesome. Uh, so that's the basics for prototyping, okay? We're gonna go through and build more pages and prototype more as we go along, but that's an introduction to it. Hey there, uh, please like the video, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel as well. Uh, if you want the full course for Adobe XD, check out my website, bringyourownlaptop.com. Uh, that's it, bye now.